today on Divorce Court. I'm here today because our son Gunner is the most important thing in our lives and me and Scott need to figure out if we're gonna stay together or we're gonna separate. I'm here today to get some things off my chest without being interrupted by Chastity because I wanna marry her and we have a lot of issues. I want Chastity to progress as a mother and to stop being a paid escort. I'd really like the judge to tell Scott that he needs to step up as a father and a man in order to take care of his family and be more stable for us. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Chastity Miller and Scott Kelly. Ms. Miller, you are 25. Mr. Kelly, you are 33. You have one child together. You're here because you love each other, you want to get married, but you're not altogether sure it's a good idea, so you wanted to pass your uh, union by me. You gave me your uh, marriage certificate with uh, permission to uh, tear it up. Should I find it ill-advised, you finished my compatibility test. And interestingly enough, I received a letter from your mother about your union to uh, Mr. Your, or your proposed union to Mr. Kelly. So we will also talk about that. But before we do, Ms. Miller, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you give me a little background on you and this union? Okay, to start a little background on me and Scott. Um, I grew up back and forth between my mother and my dad. And it ended up kind of tearing me apart from previous childhood problems. So I started using drugs and alcohol. I got pregnant at 15 had my baby at 16. In order to come back to my mom's home, she advised me to go to rehab because she kicked me out when I first got there. Um, as soon as I went to rehab, in order to come back to her house, I had to sign papers to put my baby up for adoption. Uh, to this day, I can't see him. Did you not want to do it? No. But you had no options? No. It was my fam the rest of my family or the kid that I had at a young age because my mom had helped me with it because the dad wasn't around. So she said she wasn't going to take you back no. unless you gave up the baby. So you gave the baby up. My dad passed away when I was at a young age. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really have many options. Right. Right. I put him up for adoption. And then um, I had my other son with Scott years later. And that's when I lost contact with my other child. Mm -hmm. So um, years later, when I met Scott, after meeting him when I was a teenager. We ended up together and using off and on, now we're clean, thanks to Gunner. Using, using drugs off yes. and on, but now you're clean. Yes, we've been clean for almost three years now. Okay. Um, How long were you using that you had? That's very good. How long were you using before you got clean? I used heroin for 10 years. 10 years, 10 years. Mr. Kelly, had you used heroin all before you dated uh, Ms. Miller? Not at all, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. And how long were you using with her? Uh, we used together for about eight months. Eight months. I understand that your child, in some real way, helped you kick the heroin. Tell me what happened. Our son, Gunner, is almost three. He saved our lives, especially mine. Um, like I said, I was 10 years into it. I was an IV user. He had already OD'd twice mm. in our house where we had to call an ambulance and have him, them come kind of put whatever drug they put in him to bring him back. Mm -hmm. He was turning purple in my bed and, you know, I was far gone. I was about 80 pounds. So I was just skin and bone. And uh, I went to get clean at the methadone clinic to start off with the withdrawal. And then when I was sitting there doing my intake, they told me I was pregnant. Oh. So instead of taking another route, we decided to keep Gunner. And thank God, because he saved our life, <laughs> you know, he's the one thing that keeps us Keeps us on the straight and narrow, yeah. keeps you doing the right <laughs> Let thing. Let us know it's not an option anymore. Right. Mr. Kelly, uh, so far. <laughs> I want to say this, Ms. Miller. I mean, you had a tough way to go from the beginning. And I want to congratulate you first, because you're still standing. And you're still standing. Holding a, holding a baby, you know <laughs> what I mean? And making it right for him. So I want you to make sure I understand that. Mr. Kelly, what, what do you add into the, this equation, historically speaking? How did well, you hook up with her? Who we, are you? Uh, we, didn't have a very, <laughs> we didn't have a very good upbringing. I didn't have a very good upbringing. I matched hers. Uh, I didn't come from the broken home, mm -hmm. but uh, I did come from the separated family. Uh, long, long story with that one, but... Right. Gunner saved our lives yeah. uh, over and over, you know, every single time that we've ever 
thought about it, talked about it. We, Gunner comes running in the room, and boom, it, boom, it's there. It's, it's us, you know. It, it seems like such a wonderful union where you lean in and on one another and have a common purpose and goal. Tell me why you're concerned as to whether or not to get married. I'm concerned because Scott's really irresponsible and he doesn't leave a stable home for us. I'm having to do things I shouldn't have to do for work in order to provide for Gunner. You know, when diapers run out, they run out. They can't wait a week to be So what do paid. you do? Uh, I strip and do adult work. Mr. Kelly, care to respond to that? That was all her choice. The, 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 the adult work, that was all her choice. I don't mind her being a stripper. That doesn't bother me. You know, it's her well, occupation. Do, do. But, but, but I, I guess, I Mr. Kelly, but... what I would like you to speak to is um, the sense of financial insecurity that requires her to do that kind of work. Are you not I, working I, I, hard? Are you not trying to make a way for Gunner? I bounce between jobs a few times. You know, I, I've never quit my job without talking to her about it. You know, well, what are you doing quitting jobs at all? You know, I, I was unhappy. I admit I was unhappy. It was a dumb decision, but I talked to her about it. I was like, hey, I'm not happy. She said, oh, well, you could, you know. But what did we talk about? Yeah, I was supposed to go and I was supposed to get another job, you know, but. Yes, if you're unhappy but in one hand, job, I'm... you stay unhappy till you find a new job, then you know. quit that job. Yeah. Especially when you have a family. But I wasn't just sitting at home doing nothing. I mean, that's rational 101. But see, I, I, I'm not the kind of guy that just sit at home and do nothing, though. She wanted to go to work. She wanted to be the breadwinner. That's cool. I stayed at home. I was the house husband. I cooked. I cleaned. I did the laundry. I got her ready. Yeah, I, but I did she's everything going else. out in a position where she's with men in a place where she's not safe. How are you comfortable with that? In, in the strip club, it's in a closed environment. It's in a safe I've environment. I've been robbed before. She, she does more than strip. Yeah, the, the other part of it, but I mean, that was her choice. That, that was completely her It wasn't her, a choice. It, I it had to do what I had choice. to do for our child. So hang on, hang on, Miss Miller. It wasn't her choice. It was all she could do because you didn't do all you could do. You, it's not about whether or not you like a job. You got comfortable with that money she was making. She made it possible for you to leave a job you didn't like. She made it possible for you to be half, just stay at home and take care of the kid, which is what you would prefer to do, as opposed to be out there working. And I'm saying to you, that's an immoral decision. It's not her decision, it's an immoral decision. He told me that he was going to Walmart to go get diapers and that I could take a nap one night. I wake up four hours later and he's gone. My wallet's gone, my truck's gone, my kid's gone. You wanted to say something, Ms. Miller, while I was he fussing in Holland? that uh, I choose to, you know, and yeah, it was a choice I made when I was 18. I could have gone, you know, to a subway, to, to you know, a store and applied, you know, when I turned 18, but I grew up also with my dad being a drug dealer, my mom being a stripper. All I grew up knowing was adult that entertainment. That and life. when I turned 18 on my 18th birthday, two weeks before I turned 18, I was trying to get into the club because that's the life I knew. Mm -hmm. And when you need money right away, the only job that you can get in Vegas and in San Diego is that kind of work. When your baby needs diapers the next day, that's what you have to do. Money has to come now, not when your paycheck is. Mm -hmm. Are we and clear, Mr. Kelly, on... Uh, if he has a paycheck. On what, what, what it means to say that's her decision? I, I understand what she's saying. It's your obligation. I, 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 not to I put was, her in a position to have to make that decision. I, I was raised in a household that, you know, the males, the, the hunter-gatherer. I, I was raised properly like I should have been, but what I'm saying by it was her choice is she lied to me about it. She lied to me about it every time I tried to confront her about it. If she would have told me the truth... I once and then all of a sudden hundreds. Once from clubs when we were in San Diego and then hundreds when we went to Vegas. Well, Mr. Kelly... With an even amount of money. Let, let me say this. You, so you used to ask where you don't you like the know? decision. You're telling me you don't like the decision that she made. Oh, no. To, to, no, to I escort. don't like that decision. Not a single uh, bit. You say that it is ruining your sex life because she does do that. Yeah. T tell me, explain to me, have, are you no longer attracted to her because that's... What she does? No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm still. She's still the most attractive woman to me on walking the planet. I, I can still find her to be absolutely gorgeous, but it, it's lost all of its intimacy. 
it's just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and it's done, it's over. Let's go, let's go, let's go back to watching the, you mm -hmm. know, watching TV. And there, there's no, there's no love to it. I don't, I don't feel there's any love, love to it. love to it. Ms. Miller, your response to that? When you're doing so much to support someone, you feel like all the pressure's on you, and you're not really in the mood. You do what you have to to keep your relationship together, the bare minimum of mm -hmm. sleeping together, and that's it. Because yeah. you don't feel that way about him. You I don't, don't feel, feel like he's a man. I don't feel like he's a man for. to me. Like, it's, mm -hmm. he's the girlfriend in the relationship. Why should I have to pursue it? Why should I have to instigate it? Mm -hmm. And then every time that if I fall asleep because I'm tired from doing everything else, it's my fault. Ms. Miller, you also believe that he's cheating. Is that accurate? Oh, yes. Why do you believe he's cheating? He told me that he was going to Walmart to go get diapers and that I could take a nap one night. I wake up four hours later, and he's gone. My wallet's gone. My truck's gone. My kid's gone. I did go to a friend's house. I told her I was going to Walmart. I did go to Walmart. I did get diapers. I had her wallet because she told me to take her wallet. To get diapers. And while I was at Walmart, I didn't want to go home. I didn't want to go back. I was so he mad. went to my friend's house. I, I was mad, so, yeah. So, did I, you I cheat took, with, no, with that friend? I came damn close. I came way too close than I ever should have with anybody else. This girl is known all throughout town for sleeping with everybody. There's not a doubt in my mind. She has even told me herself that she did it. Part of the reason to stop me. I know her and her mother for years now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want her to stop escorting, is that it? Yes. And you phrased it as, if she doesn't stop escorting, I don't want to be in this relationship. Is that accurate? No, I can't do it anymore. Is that, that's the deal breaker? That's the deal breaker. Should Chastity give Scott an ultimatum to get a job? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. I read your compatibility test, and I almost had to just scribble the word compatibility off of it all together, because there was none in there. I think the th unstable doesn't... Right, this is from you, what you didn't like about him. Inconsistency with parenting. What's up with that? We have two different sets of rules. Explain the, the difference. Inconsistency me, I, I'm with Gunner, you know, all day, every day, all week, while, you know, if he goes to work, mm -hmm. or if he goes to his uncle's house to do side work, mm -hmm. okay, the inconsistency of parenting is I have a set of rules because I'm with him majority of the time, mm -hmm. you know? And my mom's with me, so, of course, she sets some of the rules, too, because it's her home. Mm -hmm. So what are the difference in the rules? What, I mean, what, what, is, what, what do you do that he doesn't or he does that you don't? He'll say that my son has to use certain utensils while he's eating chicken on a bone. It's hard to eat chicken on a bone with utensils. He can't eat it like that. He's two, almost three. You know, we need to start potty training. He tells him to go in his diapers still. But it's time to start potty training because he knows how to go on the potty. The way we put him down to bed, the what? way we put him down to naps, you know what I mean? Like, I close all the windows, I close the door, I, you know, put him down, wrap him up in his blanket from his back this way, you know, and he does the same thing every day because kids need a schedule. They mm. need the same thing. He comes home for nighttime for three, four hours after, you know, he's done doing whatever he's doing for the day and changes the rules from those four hours. And then Gunner gets up in trouble and gets upset because he's going, why am I not allowed to do this when I'm allowed to do it when mommy's here? Mr. Kelly, what, what do you have to say about that? Uh, yeah, we do have different sets of rules, and it is little minute things. I, I feel that, that, you know, he, he needs to understand that, you know, when you tell him to stop something, mm -hmm. that he needs to stop. He doesn't get, you know, a popsicle. We're, we're, not, we're not trying to... Read so you say she doesn't discipline him? She doesn't redirect no, him at all? No, there's no, no discipline. It's, it's it. redirect of attention. It's all she does. It's, it's, I oh, redirect. He's doing, he, he's doing this, he's doing this, he's not supposed to do this. Okay, well, let's give him a popsicle. You no, want a that's... popsicle? He's running out in the street. Oh, he's fine. That is... You know? It, okay, not out in the street. He runs out in the driveway where there's cars. You know, telling the kid no is okay. Yeah, no, I, I mean, tell I him no plenty of times. I understand redirecting all that kind of stuff. he tells him no about everything. It's we have a driveway that goes downhill, right? But we live in a cul-de-sac where it's like a, only five houses. 
So you, there's not really many cars, and before they and come in there, they slow down. And nobody pays attention okay. to how they're driving. We have 10 they're kids doing in that neighborhood, they, they slow down. down. Yeah. agree. She said their, your parenting of, the grandson, of her grandson is inconsistent at best. She thinks you're both in serious need of individual and joint counseling. <laughs> that you're extremely dysfunctional on many different levels. Both lack healthy communication skills with each other and along with respectful boundaries. I think your mother sounds, I don't know what her past is like, but she sounds like she's insightful. Yeah, um, she's going to school to be a social worker, so she's kind of got background in it. That's also the Mr. Kelly, that was just, <laughs> behave yourself. What obstacle must chastity and Scott overcome to have a successful marriage? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. You want her to stop escorting, is that at? Yes. And you phrased it as, if she doesn't stop escorting, I don't want to be in this relationship. Is that accurate? I can't do it anymore. Is that, that's the deal breaker? That's the deal breaker. I've, I've made my steps. I've, I've done my things. I've apologized for what I need to apologize for. I'm trying to work on it. How do you and, think this thing is going to work out? She stops that, and then I'm not, a, I am not at all advocating escorting. I'm just saying that. But how do you think your kid's going to get everything he needs? What are you doing to make that happen so she's in a position to stop? I'm, you know... I, I just got the call back just today, you know, for my new job. Hopefully it brings benefits and the at least decent paycheck that I need to stop her from escorting. Okay, Ms. Miller? The job I paid for, by the way. What do you mean a job you paid for? I paid for his guard card. I had the money There's for my guard catch. card three yeah. times over. With his last job, I had to buy you. his driver's license. With this job, I had Mr. to buy his guard card. M Ms. Miller and Mr. Kelly, I would not recommend marriage. I don't think either one of you is, <laughs> is ready at all. Um, I think you have a basic disdain for Mr. Kelly. I just, you, you don't think he's a guy. You don't, you think... It's hard to see someone like that after you've been like that for I so understand. long. I understand. Ms. Miller, I'm not disagreeing with you. He's come up light, soft, and sorry. And that's why you're angry all the time. I'd be angry, too. Don't throw in your future in with a guy that you have no respect for. And a guy for whom you needn't have respect because he hasn't demonstrated his duties towards you. Mr. Kelly, I want you to continue to be a strong and meaningful partner with her in raising that baby. Always. I want you to be a better man. I want you to be the kind of guy who can't watch his wife walk out and make money on her back while he stays at home. I want you to be a better man. <laughs> Having said that, I will say this. You guys have gotten through a lot of horrible stuff. And you haven't had a good break the first. So I want you not to feel totally undone by the things that I've said. But what I'm going to ask you to do is to do exactly what your mother said, individual counseling and couples counseling. Teach you how to co-parent and teach you how to rise above how you were raised. I'm going to get you started when you leave here. Good luck to both of you. This matter's adjourned. The judge advised me and Scott to live separately, and I think that might be a good idea for the time being, even though it might be a little bit hard for us to do. It's really gonna affect Gunnar because he's used to being around his dad almost every day. We're good, you know, we're good parents. We, we know we're dysfunctional as a relationship and as a couple, but as co-parents, we're good. We can manage, you know, we'll, we'll make sure that he's got everything that he needs and that he's happy.